Welcome to a brand new episode of That Toy Life. Man, I meant to start off in a different voice to introduce everybody, and I just forgot about it when I was setting this whole thing up. I screwed up. I screwed up, but that's my life this week. I'm a big screw up this week. So we're going to talk about trailers. Why because do there you was a screw lot of up all the time? You screwed that intro up. Really? Like, really? You screwed that up? Ray, tell him you screwed it up. Don't, don't fight. Look, I didn't even have my hands on the mouse. How did you get in? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Jeez. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm the moderator. I'm controlling this whole thing. And I expected to let you guys in when I wanted to while I'm talking. Well, you know, while I'm not talking, but up oh, there he goes again. I'm sorry. I just, I have the power and I can't get rid of it. I've given so. you admin access and it's Thank over you. now. It's gone Thank to his head. Thank you. Okay. Well, how has your week been, Austin? Oh, it's been great, man. Filled with toys. I actually just got back home from another toy haul. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> Must Merry be Christmas. nice. <laughs> Must be nice because I haven't gotten any toys this week. <laughs> no toys. Nope. Oh, I guess we should talk about something else then besides toys. Yeah, we're going to talk about trailers. Because we had a lot of big ones this week. I, I, you know, how about we start with the biggest one, which I don't... You you said you haven't watched it, Ashley, but uh, mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto 6 debuted their I, trailer. I actually uh, haven't seen the trailer yet. What What's really? your... What's your? Yeah, I, I just have not... I've seen steals. I've seen the images and stuff i've heard it's taking place in vice city so i'm super mm -hmm. excited about that but beyond that i don't know much really uh, i mean because it's a teaser so it's more of just you're getting a sense of like uh the vibe of like the world you're going to be in mm, and, so no in-game footage yet i guess oh yeah 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 you see like in the world you see some of the narrative just not actual like uh you know, you don't see like a character running around like you know. Like There's no actual or gameplay or footage, though, is what you're saying. No, nothing yeah, no, yet. Okay. yeah. If if anything, it looks like it's just some setup still shots of like how the world, you know, when it's in motion, and uh, some shots from uh, 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 cinematic sequences in the story or narrative sequences. And when does this game come out? I forget. It's like what next uh, year, yeah. year after next, or. Uh, so they say at the end, 2025 and mm, okay. <laughs> one thing I love about this trailer is the music. I don't, I, I don't think we can hear it because it might not be it. Yeah, yeah. I can't play the music. Sorry. Yeah. I can't, play but it's, uh, it's, it's Tom Petty's, uh, Oh God. Uh, love is a long road. Oh, yeah. wow. And Which it's would make sense for the kind of the 80 ish, 80s ish. Yeah. But, but, yeah, but nah, yeah. that ain't eighties. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's set in current day. But it does like have that, like the uh, the color scheme makes me think of it. But what's great is you can <laughs> see like what what's fantastic to me is that the ain't eighties. <laughs> and there's no, like, I mean it's still eighties vibe. Yeah, I mean it's it's yeah. pretty. I mean, because oh, yeah. based on yeah. Miami, you know, it's uh, it's heavily based. Like, and if you look at the stuff like this, there's going to be a lot of like jokes <laughs> about Jesus. Florida type people. Oh wow. But it's said in its own state. Um, the state is called um, Leonida or Leonida. Oh, so this is not real. Like, real. Oh, no, no. no nothing in GTA kind of has its own world where cities exist in their own like area, mm -hmm. even though it's considered part of the United States. But they've kind of made their own little fictitious section of it. I got you. Because wow. Liberty City is like the main city, right? That's the main Grand Theft Auto city. Am I yeah, right? that. So yeah, Liberty City is uh, kind of like a stand-in for New York, uh, New York City, um, and uh, that was the smallest one of this whole kind of because it's its own little timeline universe type thing. And then the next one was uh, GTA Five, which used some stuff from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas as its basis for what it is, because it's the state. Uh, I think, they, and that was more Cali, right? Like that was that's more of a that's based on coast. Yeah. yeah. So, so in GTA San Andreas, there was a uh, there were like three cities based on uh, Western uh, U.S. cities. So there was like Los Angeles, which is Los Santos. Um, there was a city in the north based on San Francisco, and then there was a city kind of in the uh, northeast that's based on Las Vegas. So, but they didn't have any of that at GTA Five. It was mainly just the uh, the Los Angeles 
uh, city. So this is going to be Miami. It's mainly going to use Miami, I think. But it's but with how big they've made their worlds, I won't be surprised if there's kind of like some extra stuff added, like what the swamps and. You know. But yeah. I hadn't played a Grand Theft Auto game since like Grand Theft Auto two or three. What was was the first one? Was the second one on PlayStation Two? No, no here's a better. Here's a better question. So, what was it behind? Probably play the third one. Yeah, he was going to say, were you behind the character or were you above the character? Uh, he was third person. He was third was person. I, third. I don't remember. So it was three. You yeah, probably GTA yeah, or three. at least yeah, at least three because oh, okay. uh, yeah, look, like the first two games were like uh, top like down. Top down. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. I actually watched a special. It was like going through Instagram or something and somebody posted an old behind the scenes clip from when they were making the very first GTA game. And they're talking, mm-hmm. I guess, to like rockstar employees or whoever it was working on that first game in the office. And it's just, it looks so in, of the nineties and, you know, it's these people that are kind of fresh out of college. And I think it was in, they're in, I think they're in Ireland somewhere. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It sounded cause everybody had an Irish accent and it was, it, yeah, it was crazy seeing these these people that are just talking about, yeah, we, we're working on this up and coming game. And you would see some of the footage and it's just top down car like woo, on these old computers. And uh, yeah, because I mean, it was, I think, a PC game first, wasn't it, Ray? Like the first one was PC before uh, anything, wasn't it? I think it, 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 if it only it, it either only because uh, I did play it on PlayStation. So it was either a PC game that also got ported to consoles or it just all came out like PC and consoles. I, oh, okay. I yeah, I, I just thought it was when I, the uh, that's the only one I played was three and I beat it. But I just thought it was like really cool that I could go like slap a, a you know, some some prostitute walking down the street and you know, <laughs> the, the cops just come after you. You know, it's just crazy, man. That was the craziest game I think I've ever played. I don't know why I hadn't played any other ones. It's just. I don't know. It just never oh, Red, Red Dead. I would say Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I would say two. Go go ahead and just play two. It's just fantastic. It's it it, it really is the epitome of what a Rockstar game can can really do. That's the yeah. Western, right? That's the yeah, Western. it's a Western. Yeah. But yeah, it's it definitely like, is, yeah, yeah, because it not only because I don't you know I'm not I've always said I'm not a big online person, so. You know, you got this huge open world and it's a narrative driven story and they do such a great job of not only just great storytelling, but they have this really complex and kind of packed, dense world of, you know, people and things that happen. Mm -hmm. But without it being like an RPG where you go, you know, ask every person until you find a quest, it's more of just random stuff happens that kind of gives life to the world around it and I, it just gives a very lived-in feeling. So I can't... So, like, post Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm really looking forward to what they can do with GTA 6. Hmm. Sweet. So, uh, there are other trailers that have yeah. come out besides video game trailers. What's the next one on the list? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, let's kind of... Let's try and stay in alphabetic... Well, not exactly alphabetical order because GTA 5 wouldn't have been the first one, but uh, we can talk about the new Godzilla trailer. Godzilla X Kong, Godzilla the new Empire. So, have you have either of you watched it yet? I yes. have not. I have seen this trailer. Oh, this trailer is yeah, it's got me kind of excited for this. So, uh, l- let me I'll, I'll, I'll do the same thing and I'll play it. Although right you won't here. be able to hear it, Austin. Yeah, but... you won't be able to hear it. But you'll still be able to see it. But, you know, we can read it for you because it's going to be, you know, <laughs> closed captioned there for most of human civilization. Let me do Let me do the. We, we believe, believe that life, that could, life exist. could only exist. Ooh, is Rumbling. this the new Michael Bay movie? <laughs> On the surface of our planet. So, what, Ooh, I can't even read. Somebody's plumbing. What? What is that? I haven't Bumblebee. seen this. Yeah. So this. Yeah. That's that's Kong's hand, and it's got some kind of like metal armor. Yeah, it looked like he was wearing armor. Raised. Yeah. You'll oh, see it again was, at the end of the trailer. It's a transformer. That's what I thought. It was like Bumblebee come out the ground. 
Yeah, I, oh, I didn't here see. comes Mighty Joe Young. Woo! Star Fox. Rebecca Ooh, Hall. I've never seen that back. haircut on her before. Yeah. And if you notice behind her, uh, Dan Stevens, he's going to be oh, in this yeah. movie also. Oh, okay. Oh, hey there, little kid. Oh, Lord of the Ring shot. That's not Kong. I can't remember what happened at the end of the other one. Oh, you don't remember? Uh, so, Godzilla versus Kong. So there was the big showdown in Hong Kong. I think it was it Hong Kong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah it was yeah, Hong yeah. Kong. There was the big showdown. Godzilla yeah. beat Kong and nearly killed him. And then he had to get his heart restarted. Oh, yeah. And he then he helped. Helped. And then he yeah. helped Godzilla kill, uh, take down Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. And then he, he went to the Hollow Earth to, to stay while Godzilla stayed on surface. Yeah, are we gonna um, see more of Hollow? So, this is what's this, cool, or, yeah, or what? yeah, yeah, definitely gonna be because I think that's supposed to connect into that ape villain, but uh, so he's mutated. Godzilla has, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I was gonna say this. I heard something about the new pink, some sort of <clears throat> pink light mm -hmm. when he lights up is due to some sort of mutation or so, something, yeah. And this is supposed to be the new villain. I, uh, I name, I believe his name is so far, I've only heard the name Scar being used for him. That's cool though. That but this is I think you'll love this shot, Austin. Look at that. Ah, oh, look at that. That looks good. Look at that. Awesome. It's 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 Rocky and Apollo heading mm. in for that fight. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, the, the can make it. Kong. Oh yeah. Yeah. Brian Tyree Henry's back. Little Kong. And, and also the little <laughs> kid from uh the little kid from Godzilla v Kong who was uh it was kind of like his Kong's, you know, little human bond. Mm -hmm. She's back also. That's good. I was wondering if it was going to be a direct continuation of uh of you know the original Godzilla, Godzilla, the Godzilla versus Kong that we yeah. watched. Because you notice it's not versus Kong anymore. It's yeah, it's I, Kong because they're how many how many times can we make them fight? <laughs> right. But I, I the only way that they can make it in perfectly though is if they actually just shot for shot recreate the final scene from Rocky Three. Have them like have them just kind of sure. growling, 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 and just kind of talking yeah. to each other. They kind of look like they're laughing and joking. They're like getting ready, and then right when the punch is about to hit, yep, it's the you hear the, yeah, the bail explode <laughs> into fireworks. Like they fireworks explode over the screen, and then it just fades to black. Uh, we uh, recently executive watched. producer Dick Wolf. We recently we watched like everything Rocky all the way to Creed three. Not too long ago. Oh man, I, I, what did you think of the what did you think of the new Creed movies? I haven't, yeah, because I haven't watched it yet, but I I, I, I intend uh, to soon. The first one was was good. The second yeah. one was, yeah. Third yeah. one, not so much. I was I gonna say, the, I feel like the third one might have been better than the second one, but probably not. I don't know. Probably no. I think I like the second one because of the Rocky Four connections. Yeah. yeah. So it worked a, a really well. The third one is, you know, like I didn't. Uh, Jonathan Majors is in it is is actually pretty good. Yeah, he is. Like he, he, he is. seems to play like a, I don't know. He's, he's just good at playing that that very unstable, questionable, <laughs> sketchy <laughs> guy. You know, I wonder where he gets that, gets that from. Yeah, yeah. But mm. uh, but no, I I was just saying overall, I thought they were they that even Michael B. Jordan as a director made and he directed yeah. pretty well. Like the third one looked really good. Yeah. It, and, it did. I, I think it was to me. It was a little rushed. Oh yeah, whole, no, it's definitely a th Rocky movie. three of the Creed. Yeah. It's like the Rocky three of Creed three. You know, it's, yeah, it's kind and, of the flashy, and, quicker movie. And I, I'd lost my connection to it. You know, because oh, because Rocky. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. That's another thing was how how this would stand on its own without having Rocky in it. Yeah, and I was surprised that it did still kind of hold up. But yeah, yeah, I mean, with me personally, it and somebody else pointed this out about Michael B. Jordan, just him as a character, he's just not very interesting. Yeah, just just overall, you don't root for him the way you do Rocky because Rocky was a bum. Rocky came from nothing. He obviously came from greatness, and even yeah. though he, you know, he was a bad little kid, I mean, still, and I mean, it's just. 
I, it's hard to find a, a through line with the new Creed movies as opposed to the Rocky, but it could be a generational thing too. It could be a culture thing. I'm sure there's some people that are like Creed is their movies, you know? So yeah, yeah, they're good. But no, man, I, I love the Creed. I, I, I mean the Rocky movies. I haven't seen the reworked Rocky four though. Cause apparently Sylvester's long. It's, it's out, but it's weird. You, there's no physical copy of it. I think you can rent it on Amazon Prime, but there's a, a director's cut of Rocky Four that's supposed to be entirely different than what? the original. Yeah, so, so, Sylvester Stallone got to do it, and it's like, yeah, they cut out. I think they cut out a lot of Bridget uh, Nielsen, right? That was her name. Yeah, was that her name? Yeah, I think they cut out a lot of her scenes because apparently, either they added more of her, or I don't know. He just and also, that's his ex-wife. Maybe yeah, he was yeah. just like, get her, get her out of here. I don't want to see her. But I feel like she got less scenes, and there were, I don't know, there was, I'm trying to remember. Oh, obviously less campiness, like the 80s stuff. Like, I don't even know if the robot shows up in it at all. Mm-hmm. Like, he might try to cut that robot out. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah, that's but but movies. But Rocky still brings peace on Earth with his speech at the end, right? Of course, always, always yeah. comes in. And, uh, if I could change it. And the time that he it takes changed. to make that we speech is done ages by about five years. It changed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I'm glad he brought it into the Cold War. Yeah. His speech. Just took a while. Hey, no, it, it wasn't yeah. just a speech. It was that it was his hardcore training montage in the snow. Because mm-hmm. there's well, nothing wow. more. There's nothing more. You know, Hot fitting to save the fire. to save. Yeah democracy <laughs> than running while holding up a giant log <laughs> yeah man ashley here we go we got to do a tour we'll just tour and perform covers of the entire rocky Four soundtrack. <laughs> it's like oh, hearts on fire it's, it's, uh the tiger. tiger um oh. God, what no is easy way know? out. Yeah. <laughs> and you got oh and James Brown's uh yeah. uh Living in America. Living in America. Yeah. yeah. Oh geez. Anyway. That's some good stuff. Right? Oh. Anyway. East, east. Coast coast. <laughs> Godzilla X Kong, New Empire. I'm yeah. frenetically Tra- excited. Trash I'm, or I'm treasure. Treasure, treasure. I'm going to see that. Treasure. That for me, that's a theater. That's a theater. Oh yeah, that's definitely a theater movie. But I, I kind of like, regret not getting to see the last yeah, movie in theaters. Yeah, I, I've managed, you know, a, I, and I'll I'll give Godzilla versus Kong an exception because of the circumstances. You know, we we're dealing with COVID when that released, yeah. so I wasn't able to. I you know I didn't see that in theater. Did watch the weekend it came out. Yeah, so, we did too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I've, I've managed to see all of them. All, you know, all all the Monster vs. Godzilla move. Well, no, just the Godzilla ones. I didn't see Kong in theaters, but I did see Godzilla and King of Monsters. Hmm. So I definitely want to see this one. Did you know? Speaking of speaking of, you said Monster vs. This made me think about this. Universal Studios in Orlando. You know, they're building like a third land mm-hmm. that's going to have like Super Nintendo World. But there's also going to be like a Universal Monsters. World. Oh, cool! Like the uh, it's a you, that yeah. Um, so you mean like Dracula? Yeah, Mommy, Frankenstein, Wolfman, Frankenstein, Wolfman. Yeah, sounds like from Black, Black Lagoon. That's kind of kind of cool. That's it? awesome. That would yeah. be a that'd be a big. That sounds like that sounds like a place where they would want to like feature for during their Halloween horror nights. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and how, I mean it's also going to have like more harry potter so i'm i'm assuming they'll probably connect all three. Oh god they're gonna make like a third location yeah <laughs> so they have hogsmeade they have uh they have diagon alley what else could they do diagonally diagonally diagonally, diagonally. what did you say <laughs> this was gonna be i think they i think it's gonna be london isn't it or uh maybe <laughs> it's just like that it's just it's it's secretly part of epcot they just like make a tunnel that goes into the london part of epcot Pretty much. Just trick them. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> what's next? So uh, let's go to Fallout. Did either of you watch the Fallout trailer? I did oh, not. I was on Halo season two. Uh, <laughs> let me let me go. I, I was trying to. I was trying to. Uh, trying well, I was kind of going alphabetically, so Fallout would be next. Uh, okay. F here we before go. H. Yep. Yeah. Actually, F before G. So I already this messed is, up. This is well, oh, oh, I've already I've already screwed up because I didn't even share my screen here. But you know, I this is one of those things that I didn't I've never played a Fallout game. Oh, well, you, I mean, you're not going to need to for this, uh, you know. I, I, 
you know, just like with other, other stuff, like, you know, The Last of Us. Did you happen to watch The Last of Us this year? No, I haven't. That's something uh, else I just haven't done. But uh, John, uh, Jonathan Nolan is uh, the, you know, kind of the brainchild behind this. And, uh, you know, if you've watched any of his other stuff, uh, you know, because he's Christopher Nolan's brother, um, he's behind West, you know, Westworld. But uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to this, especially because uh, Walton Goggins is in it, and when he, you'll get a glimpse of him in a minute. Giant roaches, I'm out. <laughs> but I do like there's a, there's a good little moment right there, but I'll I'll refer to it after we finish. Uh, yeah. what was that? There's a dog eating a. a Roach, red roach. Is what call it. So this God. is uh the Brotherhood of Steel. Wait a second. Did they? Am I okay? Did I? Have they always done that with these Amazon shows? What? It just said from the studio that brought you, and I think it was like an Amazon show, and then said two days in two days shipping. I think <laughs> that was a joke because of uh. Okay. I, I think that's a joke because of the this uh you know the stuff with Fallout. Okay, because I'm like, wow! I've Dude, never seen that in Amazon Doggins. trailer, and that was great. Oh, oh wow! I, okay, yeah. I've seen pictures. I didn't yeah. know that was Fallout. Looks, okay. Yeah, he looks awesome. He look, it looks like he's a gunslinger, yeah. and I think that's Chris Parnell. Oh, that looks like yep, that looks like him. Yeah, yeah. So is is Goggins a good guy or a bad guy? Uh, I have no clue yet. Uh, I'm oh, gonna okay. hope I that he's. he's I'm gonna hope he's an ally, but you see another glimpse of him, and it looks like uh from before the bombs fell because he looks human still. There he is. Yeah. So it looks As like he was trying to get away. So yeah, if you, it, so, the lore with why his face looks like that. Um, ghouls typically they were people that uh didn't die in the blasts, mm. and instead of the radiation just killing them, they basically became these things called ghouls. And, uh, you know, they, they can basically live for centuries. And Ooh. so that would be, you know, yeah. so because usually you fall out, you know, it's like hun- whenever someone's waking up, it's like hundreds of years after the nuclear war has already happened. Sounds fun for that person. But but the fun funny thing is, you know, the big thing about or one of the big things about uh, the aesthetic of the Fallout universe is there's a very retro 50s look to it because. Mm-hmm. In the lore of what happened was there was like a big technology boom, up, boom, I believe that happened in like the 50s in the timeline. And so everything really kind of stuck in that 1950, 1950s look, but you had like cars that could fly. Mm-hmm. And so that's why you, why everything has like a weird little kind of retro sheen to it. That's weird. You but know, that, I did play a Fallout game, but it was like this thing... Uh, where you, you you build levels? Oh, you're talking about the Fallout Shelter, the the yeah, yeah, game? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they were doing that. Far. I think in uh, I think that was in like prep for Fallout Four, the the game. I think mm-hmm. I think it was like to help. You know, it was, it was like a it was like a side project. I think to help promote it. I believe. No, oh, okay, but I didn't get very far. So, <laughs> uh, well, I'm next not- up, oh, uh, Trash or Treasure? Are you interested in watching that? I uh, yeah, treasure I'm, for me. I'm gonna call it trash because I'm not interested in Fallout. I mean, it, it might be good, and I may give it a shot, but mm-hmm. right at this point, it's trash. Yeah, I was. Well, treasure. what, what I, did you I'll think of GTA Six then? Trash or treasure? Because we didn't. It, it looks like treasure. I, I'm I'm not saying I'm gonna play it, but it does mm-hmm. look like treasure because it looks like it'd be really really fun. I just yeah. I'm not gonna be like playing it day one mm-hmm. if if it comes on like. PlayStation Plus, uh, whatever that top tier is, where you can stream oh, yeah. it or download it. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it and I'll I'll play it at that point. Okay. All right. Well, uh, should we go to what do you think I'm going to say next, Ashley? Furiosa. Let's go with that. Furiosa, the right. Mad Max prequel, starring Anya Taylor Johnson. Is there that is go. that her name? Yeah, I think I think that's her name. And I, I feel like I'm wanting to say Aaron Taylor Johnson. Quicksilver. <laughs> no, this looks very cool. 
and uh, Chris Hemsworth. I've seen this trailer. In this. You have oh, yeah. seen this? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I, there's, I have only one key complaint about the whole thing, but I'll let you know whenever. Oh, wow. So I had to, I, I had to do some Googling on this after I saw it because I, I wanted to know if it took place. Because I couldn't remember that Charlize Theron's player Her older version. Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to put this in the timeline. And apparently, apparently all the other uh, Mad Max movies are still in this. There's no, yeah, there's no solid timeline, really. It's yeah. really bizarre because I think even at this point, like this is the first time they've ever, I think I've ever seen anything where they give you any kind of sense of how many years have passed since yeah. the end of the world. <laughs> it looks crazy. With the fake nose. Yeah. Yeah. Dement, uh, I believe his name is Dementus. I believe hmm. Chris Hemsworth. Anna something Taylor. Anya. 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 That's cool. There's lots of this is very toyetic. It definitely looks just like the the first movie, like the original movie. Yeah. Mad Max Fury Road. Did you watch Fury Road by chance? Yeah. Oh man, that was a fantastic time yeah. of the movies. Yeah. I'm, and this I, is George Miller doing this. So it's I'm expecting it to have the same spectacle as that as his other movies. Yeah. Although some of this I start to oh my God. Oof. I start to question some of the like the practical stuff, because the the shocking thing about Mad Max Fury Road is that it looks incredible, and a lot of it's practical, yeah. and people don't realize it. it really does. It looks CG, a lot of it, but this actually looks like a lot of it's filmed on green CG. screen, so yeah. I, don't, I don't really know, and I'll tell you, the only other thing that's pulling me out of it is Chris Hemsworth. Like, really? He, oh, yes. He looks like Thor took a break. <laughs> threw on a plastic, like a prosthetic nose and got, got down on the set. And I'm like, oh my God, he takes me out of the, anytime he pops up in the trailer, I'm like, oh, other than that, he, everything looks fine. It's just his character seems so like, it's, I mean, it's almost like a playful Chris Hemsworth cameo. Like, uh, uh, and I'm like, I'm, I'm over the Chris Hemsworth game. Like the, the, like using him as the punchline thing. It's like, I'm, I'm done with it. He's not, yeah. he's not that funny anymore. So it's so yeah. I mean, I hope he blows me away with the movie. I'm just saying, like his look just kind of looks weird. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch it. I, I want to see it. I'm. I, I just love George Miller. He's good. He just seems like a pretty cool director. Like, so he, he gives you bang for your buck. So treasure for Austin. What about you, Ashley? Treasure for me. I'm. I'm. This is gonna be out of all these. This is one I'm going to the theater to watch. Okay. Uh, I didn't get to see Fury Road in theater, but in the theater because I didn't know. I didn't really think I wanted to see it, and I, I just happened to be you know here at the house on one of my days off, and there's nothing on, and I said, well, let me just give this a shot. And man, it was beautiful. I mean, the 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 movie itself. Uh, so, and I I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I was gonna do that, especially since it's not Mel Gibson, mm -hmm. and it was. Tom Hardy, yeah. but uh, yeah, I, I I really enjoyed it. So that, this is going to be a movie that I do go to the to the actual theater to see on opening weekend. So yes, a treasure for me. And Sky Knight says day one watch. Yeah, I was going to say you didn't watch the Fury Road in theaters. That I, I that's a shame because I'm telling you, man, that was a great theatrical movie. It, it yeah. blew me away. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Ray, I'm not trying to be contrary and just maybe treasure with a side with a little bit of trash. I I, I don't know if I, I'm going to see it in theaters, but I will probably watch it streaming. See, I'm not anything. This. There's something. No, about, I'm kind of with Ray with this. I mean, it's like it's more treasure than trash, but there's something about it that's giving me bad vibes. Really? Like something or something's making me feel like whatever. Well, one, it's a prequel to the first to the last yeah, one, so it's yeah. sort of like oh, okay. 
because oh, I kind of know where the story's going to go. Oh, already. so you don't want to go see the Phantom Menace? I got you. I got you. Okay. <laughs> or, or Attack of the Clones. <laughs> no, I, I really do. It's just like it's it's going to be weird to see where we're going with this since it is a prequel. But like I said, I have faith in the director. I I, I like George mm-hmm. Miller. He's a good. He yeah. produce like he can really present a theatrical experience, even even if it's not a great like you may not like the movie per se. I don't know. He just he seems to be kind of old school in those ways, you know, they, they want to present a bang, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I I will say that when I watch like any Mad Max movie, I I feel that I just get depressed. Yeah. That's, that's probably another reason why I'm not too psyched about it. Like I'm going to watch it eventually, but there's something about the Mad Max world that just kind of, yeah. I mean, it puts me in a funk. It's like, it's like, Oh my God, this is what happens after the bomb goes off. Like, or not even that. It's because they stay very. I, I think they stay pretty vague about it. But it doesn't seem like it's. It, it, you know, it doesn't seem like it was a nuclear war type deal. It seemed like it was just the world dried up somehow, and just yeah. became a vast desert, which doesn't make a lot of sense. It's, that it's or more, we, or, it's more that like, we caused it. Who knows? Or or as my or as I like to think. Uh, a bunch of Australians, just like the rest of Australia, just got taken over by the desert part of Australia. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is this is crazy, for sure. But, uh, so you're saying treasure with a side of trash? Maybe, yeah. yeah. And plus, I, I'm not I'm not terribly interested, or not uh, not interested, but invested in in uh oh god am i saying her name right because i feel like i'm saying it wrong anya taylor johnson is it anya yeah taylor anya johnson? i know it's anya something because if i say taylor uh, johnson i want the anya taylor joy joy because i knew it's like it can't be johnson because that's quicksilver yep i knew it couldn't be okay anya taylor joy um i don't know i'm just not i'm not too invested in her as an actress I, well, because i haven't watched a lot of the stuff that she's kind of yeah. made her bones with like the Queen's, was it, the Gambit, Queen's Gambit? And, yeah, I was gonna say I hadn't seen any the menu. Of stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. I, I haven't watched it. Um, it's, uh, it's, I don't know. It's, maybe I'll, I'll try to watch it at some point. It's like but, she's but I, for Mario Brothers. <laughs> she does a great American voice in Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, well, let's jump on to the next one. Uh, Halo. 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 Hi, Lo. Here we go. Hello. I am one of the few people that actually enjoyed season one of Halo. Really? I did. I'm not ashamed of it. I didn't. I did enjoy it. What but was that, wrong but, with but it? also, I'm not someone who takes the the Halo stuff like from the games as sacred text. Um well it, well, it deviates a lot because they don't really try to do anything from the games yet. Um, it, uh, most of the story takes place before Chief ever finds uh, the Halo installation from the first game. Mm-hmm. So it's more about kind of exam, like it's more of looking at the state of the world. It's, it, the first season really feels like a world building season. Is that Scarlet Witch? No. Oh, I thought it was Elizabeth Olsen for a second there. Mm-mm. And I like Pablo uh, Pablo Schreiber as a uh, Master Chief. I thought he did a good job. You know, I just I've, I've played Halo for maybe an hour in my entire life. Mm-hmm. I just I, I can't get into it mainly because it's a first person shooter. Yeah, I mean it has a it's a fun sci fi universe. I and I I'll say this: I have not played past the fourth game, so I don't know much about how the storyline progresses past that one. Yeah. But for that main stretch of the storyline, which is the first three, you know, cause I, it has a, some kind of arc. It, it's yeah. a fun, it, it's fun. It's not terribly deep because it, it doesn't need to be, cause it's more about the action and you just want a fun story to kind of keep, you know, getting you from one place to the next. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed the first season. The second season looks like it's going to, focus on a big event from Halo history that they made. Uh, it was Bungie's last game as the developer for Halo games. Um, uh, fall, the Fall of Reach mm-hmm. is basically a big cornerstone event that happens in the Halo history where uh, this big city falls and 
I think most of the Spartans from the Spartan program, like Master Chief, most of them got killed there trying to help people get, you know, get mm -hmm. off the planet while it was just getting glassed. So by, the main uh, character dies? No, no, not Master Chief. No. Oh. He's like, he, so his status by this beginning of like Halo 1, the first game, he's considered one of the last, if not the last Spartan, uh, you know, Spartan warrior. Which are basically these kidnapped, which are basically like kidnapped child soldiers that are brainwashed and uh, just like juiced up. With, like I, I forgot what they do to them, hmm. but basically, yeah, they're basically turned into like a super soldier program. Okay. Um. So Scott Knight says Halo is only okay for me. My sci-fi game is Cyberpunk. Love that game. I see. I'm seeing a lot of cyberpunk love here lately. It seems like it's, people are now getting into that that game, and I'm, I've been sitting on it since it came out, and I, it, like I, I turned it, put it back in, and and loaded the new PS5 version with all the patches, and started playing it, but haven't really. I've probably gotten thirty Phantom, minutes into yeah. the game. I th I think the updates and then Phantom Liberty. I think kind of, I think probably got a lot of goodwill back for for it. Is it a first-person shooter? Yeah, first-person RPG. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why is it everything? It, dude, it is. It was a weird. It was an odd choice because this is um, um, CD Projekt Red. CD Projekt Red. The what guys? The people behind the Witcher games. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the Witcher games are third-person, yep. open-world, yep. you know, adventure. This is open-world, but for some reason, when it first came out, you were completely locked into first-person. And now, ever since they've 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 patched to now the car, the driving, you mm -hmm. can switch between first and third person. Well, that well, I will say that's always been third person. You could you could do third person with the car because I remember playing it way back. You know, not long. That wasn't that came. wasn't true when it first came out. When it first came out, that you couldn't you could really? only go first person in the car. Yeah, hmm. they that was patched later. They pat. I think that was like a patch. Yeah, that was a patch later because when it first came out, it was all first person. It's driving everything. So that was kind of, that was what was so odd about the game. Mm -hmm. And maybe when it was patched to PS5 is when they did that. But yeah, I just remember when it first came out, there's only first person and people were like, what? And Cause it seemed like a cost cutting yeah. thing. Like behind the scenes, there must've been some issues. Cause I thought for sure it was going to be third per or at least like you could swap, you could do it, third or first it, person. It, well, it had to have been before the PS5 version because I I, I only played it on my PS4 and I was a I, I specifically remember being able to drive in third person. Now I, I you couldn't walk around in, for, in third person, but I do specifically remember being able to drive in third person because I I can't stand driving in first person. That and I was relieved when I was able to find out that I could switch to it. Yeah, hmm. no, it was it was definitely a, a relief when they did that. But I don't know. I wish I wish they would have done third person for everything. I just I still don't understand that. But, well, they, yeah. their their reasoning was that it was um, they want you to be able to see more of the details. It's like you know you can really get up close and see how great everything looks. You can't do that immersive. if you're in third person. <laughs> yes, that immersive oh. things like really they just didn't want to do all the new animations they're gonna have to do for you yeah yeah okay trash characters. or treasure austin uh well you haven't seen season one have i haven't seen have season you? one so i mean treasure i do i do plan on watching it i'd probably just binge it with the first season treasure for me I'm, i i i solidly enjoyed season one so i'm gonna i'm gonna watch season two just, yeah 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 okay <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's just, kind of oh, in the same boat as Fallout because I'm with you. I'm yeah. not. A, I'm not a big Halo fan, but yeah. the show looks good, and <clears throat> Fallout. The Fallout show looks hey, good. I, Walton it, Doggins alone should be reason enough to watch the oh, Fallout yeah. show just no, to I, see what, he, what, that man what he's doing as a ghoul in there. But you know, with only so many hours in the day and so much content to suck in, mm -hmm. you have to be choosy. You know, yeah. and, and I mean, and if I, if I have no connection to it. Mm -hmm. then I, it, it'll be one of those things where I've watched everything I need to watch and I'm looking for something new. And, and that's not often, <laughs> you know, especially right, like right now I'm, I'm going back through Wolverine and the X-Men, the cartoon, just, just <laughs> because, um, 
everybody talked about how good it was and I don't, and I never saw it. And it's truly, it's a good show, but it's just sad that it got cut off that this is back when the Disney bought Fox. So how many seasons oh, yeah. did he get before he got kicked? It, it, it's it's only got, one. it only got one season. Okay. Yeah. And then Disney bought Fox and then it was like, yeah, well, no yeah, more for you. Yeah, we're, we're going to do something different. So, Well, I think it was also in that phase where I think <clears throat> Disney was really still mad that Fox still had the rights to X-Men. Oh, yeah. So they didn't want any extra media that would be promoting X-Men, potentially driving more people to want to see an X-Men movie Yeah, by Fox. Speaking yeah. of X-Men, did y'all yeah. see the news on their, uh, on Deadpool? Oh, oh, God. Should we talk about it? Because that's very, very spoilery. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't have to spoil anything. I just thought it was a, I thought it was real funny, or at least from what I'm talking about or what I saw was where apparently there were a lot of leaks, like there were photos, yeah. the sets, oh. photos that have been leaked. Yeah. And I guess Ryan Reynolds came out first was like, Hey guys, like I, and, and I liked that. I liked his messaging too. Was It wasn't like a, Hey, you know, assholes stop yeah. doing this. It was, I understand that people do these things because they're excited. But can you please just hold your excitement with us until we can get this out? And then he puts out those photos with this all doctored with, <laughs> with Mickey Mouse and there's one like Predator. with Steve Urkel on the beach. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, that is great. It was yeah, that that was hilarious. Like they and then I've obviously been seeing the Hugh Jackman getting ready for Wolverine again, I guess for the reshoots. Yeah. But uh I'm, I bet they're probably going to unleash a lot more ad libbing now that the <laughs> the strike is over and they can get back on the set. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm curious what the story is going to be. In he, uh, said, uh, he was saying that it was going to just from that post. I don't remember if you've read that, Ray, but it was like he said something about the the movie's going to rely a lot on practical effects and live. Mm -hmm. I guess like live shooting or you know real real sets real yeah. places and things like that to and i'm like really <laughs> like this movie you're gonna need because it just seems like a, a you know a mutant deadpool x-men fox movie or something you know there's just gonna be a ton of cg and yeah. you know, all kinds of stuff i don't know but but i'm i'm excited for that that's gonna be fun yeah weird to have wolverine back again or hugh back okay. again as wolverine but I'm not gonna complain yeah i don't think it'll be the last time it probably won't. Yeah. <laughs> Especially now, he probably needs money. Yeah, <laughs> I'll divorce Uh And uh, the last one uh, that I could think of because I'm brain farting, but House of the Dragon season two, which I think I'm the only person also who's watched season one of. Yeah, I was going to say I haven't even seen season one of this yet. Yeah, me either. But of course, I haven't seen Game of Thrones. You don't have to have seen Game of Thrones to watch oh, this because okay. um, this is like a big prequel story. This is just a focus on this family that's kind you. of a big catalyst for the events of Game of Thrones. I got you. Because Dr. Max, in this? Uh, oh, yeah. Matt Smith is in this. Yeah. He's one of the big characters. Um, his name is his character's name is Damon Targaryen. He hmm. is fantastic. He is awesome in the show. Um but it's basically like a family of like this whole bloodline, the Targaryens. They're very, uh, you know, at this point, they're kind of at the height of their power still. They basically have, uh, they rule over Westeros, this, you know, the big continent from Game mm -hmm. of Thrones. And they're the only family that can ride dragons, or that's what they're known for, is that they have mm. dragons. The dragons are not, like, a plentiful, and some of the Targaryens can actually ride them. Like, uh, Matt Smith has his own character, has his own dragon that he rides in the, in the show. I got you. But, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Not too much to say because there's not much shown, and no, and also y'all haven't seen it, so there's not much we can really discuss. Yeah. Well, trash or treasure? Tra uh, ah, trash. 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 Treasure. Just crap. Treasure. <laughs> well, since we only have two options here, trash or treasure, Belst. I'm gonna have to say trash, but it's not because I think that that trailer looked like trash. It's just I'm not interested. Invested. Yeah. So, trash for me, Austin. 
trash. No, I'm trash. Just tra- no, I treasure it because I'm I'm going to eventually watch. I hadn't seen the first season either, and uh, yeah, I I do want to watch it. What's it's, wrong with you? Great. I'm just weird. You are. <laughs> You're totally weird. Okay, so um, I think that's all the trailers that we have that I could think of. Yeah, that you could think of. So now, uh, with time winding down, let's go to Paul's. toy hauls. Oh, good. I have big stuff. Good. I'll show you. I just right, got, so I finally completed you and go got, first. here you go. I got Scarecrow. Ooh. Yes. So now I've completed my Batman set. Now I have, you know, I have Batman, Scarecrow, we have Robin. Uh-huh. Ooh. And my favorite, probably of all of them, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. This is like the number one figure I wanted was Mr. Freeze. I just love, I love Mr. Freeze, especially the animated series one. He's, he looks so great. But what was really cool was after I got Scarecrow, I was finally able to, to finish the build a figure for all these. And now you Condiment get Man. Condiment King. And oh, it's Condiment King. Yeah, yeah, and he's, I mean, he's cool. I really like him, but I will say the only critique, and I heard this online or like other reviews, <clears throat> his legs are super loose. Like when you, I don't know if you can see uh, it, but like it's just, the pegs. yeah, so I'll have to definitely put him on, put him on a stand or something because of the fact that this, this pack is pretty heavy. I mean, it's solid, it's solid, really hard, solid plastic. Yeah. So it makes his, he, he's very top heavy. Huh. So, but other than that, I mean, the design looks good. I mean, I like, I like the design. Can't wait to set him up and stuff, but yeah, he definitely, I mean, he'll stand up by himself for the most part, but yeah, he, he'll fall probably <laughs> at some point, but I think that's pretty much all my hauls for this week. So do you have any of the other, um, Batman, the animated series figures? Do all the ones I just showed you. That's, that's the only ones you have from McFarlane. Or yeah, yeah, because well, those are the only ones they've done because, um, or at least for this build a figure line. So I just yeah. have, the, I just have all of them for the from the build a figure. I just wanted to see like if you had more, like see them all on a shelf or something, just to see how they stand and look together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're and I think these are just reissues from the DC Direct line, anyways. They're just they have some some painting differences to have some shading yeah. and stuff like that that some people aren't fans of. I'm not a hundred percent fans fan of it, but it. It really doesn't bother me. These don't, they don't really bother me. Kind it of, looks when like you really Batman's it, suit got uh, messed up in the wash. Yeah. He's like cursing Alfred as he's getting in the Alfred. Hill. Take it, Alfred. You were supposed to wash it with only whites. Let's see. Scott Knight got colors. Mara Jade, Sabine Wren, and the new Super, uh, the new Supergirl figure from McFarlane. That's, oh, crap. Heck yeah. yeah. That's a pretty cool one. That's nice. a pretty cool one. Heart. It's kind of hard to get, I believe. I, I see people online talking about, you know, can't find it. So that's awesome. Nice. All right, Ray. Oh, uh, I got a couple things kept coming in. Uh, well, first off, I finally just went ahead and got him. So I got Edgen from Dungeons and Dragons, the Golden Archive line. So your screen is like really blurry. Do I need to do the thing again where I need to? I, yeah, I think you need to swap the. All right, let me try this. I'm going to, here, just y'all converse yourselves real quick. I'm going to jump out and jump back in. Yeah, Talk about amongst you, yourselves. Do you, do you have any hauls, hauls for yourself you want to show off? I don't have anything other than, well, I do have something up here. Um, but I really don't want to get him out. If you see right here, this is mm-hmm. Masters of the Universe. Yep. Fisto. Um, I had him as a kid, so I wanted to get him again. So, are those yeah. OG figures or yeah 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 nice so that that's that's what I got and then I got this I can't remember the name of this machine here but it's like one of the crappiest uh, machines you can get is that the thing store. from Walmart or they have it that is it like a re-release no no that's the actual original too yeah. oh okay all right I was yeah. say, I've been look? seeing some of those in the in the Walmart clearance yeah oh uh, yeah do, do I look any better yeah you are pretty right. now. Yay, let's try this again. Yep. So I got Edgen from the Golden Archive line for Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, Honor sweet. Nice. Uh, here's the, Woo. Now I did open him up. I just want to show that first, but fantastic figure. Oh. Now I will say, I, I will give figure. us a little critique of it, but uh, it's kind of funny. Like the look of his 
like they did something with his jawline that, because they kind of wanted to show that he has facial hair, like a five yeah. o'clock shadow. Mm-hmm. But instead of just printing it, they tried to do like a very light, like, I don't know, layer of like textured plastic or, you know, texturing on the That's sculpt. Weird. Yeah. And it kind of makes him look a little wonky. Yeah, I, th- I think it would have been rectified if they made the shadow just slightly darker. Probably would have yeah. made it look better. But it makes it look like he has really bad, uh, what do you call it? The the stuff people get when they oh, the had too scars. much a- acne scarring. Yeah. <laughs> it almost looks like he has bad acne scarring. Um, it's like Admiral Adama. <laughs> yeah. Edward James almost. Yeah. Uh, the other big thing I got. So I got a deal on Black Friday. This is a $44, $40, $45 figure. Got it on sale for 15 bucks. The owl, uh, the dork owl bear version from the movie. Uh, here, this beast is. Oh, he good did, too. God, that 15 is awesome. Bucks. That is cool. That is a steal. And and does actually, you know, you can put it into four, you know. I was going to say, can't you change the hands out so he like, yeah, can go so, into fours and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah that is, that's awesome. Oh, that is cool. So and yeah, that's this a steal was, at that price. Yes, yeah, so yeah, because this is so this is based on Doric's uh Albear transformation for yeah. uh wild her uh wild shape that she can do in the uh in the movie. Because they they do two specific uh there's two owlbears in this golden archive line. So there's this one, which is a snow owl look, mm-hmm. and then there's more of a traditional owl color with kind of brown and gray uh coloring. And you can only get that through Hasbro Pulse, and mm-hmm. it's still like in the 40s. I'd love to get that version, though. All right, so the other two big things I got, because these suckers are hard to get right now still. So I'm going to start with uh, I'm start with the big guy. Oh! Yes! So, uh, yeah, the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man from uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Toby, ah, that's so cool. Toby McGuire. I have not Toby. opened it yet because they they did that weird kind of uh, packaging where yeah, the that. plastic goes up under the the board. Yeah, I mean, and, I understand why they do it, but I hate it. Yeah, and I got uh, the Amazing Spider Man, Andrew, Man. Andrews. Now Which tell me funny. this though, what what's up with the card backs? Like, why aren't they both under the home, No Way Home line? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, well, this it, it's is I mean, weird. this is weird in itself. Why is Toby in a No Way Home and and uh, Andrew Garfield in an Amazing Spider Man? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's confusing to me that they they changed it up and and marketed it as Amazing Spider Man two for him. That, that, I mean, that is, it should have all been under No Way Home because everything else, every like like everybody else is Sandman, Mary Mary Jane, everything's under the No Way Home. Car, you car never bag. know when when it comes to licensing. You never know. There, That's there a good point. Maybe there was a specific licensing issue. Yeah, there. There, there was like, oh, you can't use that movie for him. You know, I, who knows? But it does make me wonder. Like, it just it just seems odd. Yeah, no, it's but definitely he's just, odd because it, it makes basically makes him the odd man out because he's the only one that that I've seen that doesn't seem to you know be part of the No Way Home. Dude, but he, you got the he, super he's awesome unofficial gear. part of it. My my only critique about the whole line is that I wish they would add some spot like some webbing stuff, you know, like just some rubber web or something to kind of wrap around his arms, you know, stuff like mm-hmm. that. They they do with the McFarlane toys and. Stuff oh, yeah. like that. That would be really cool to have some added effects. But other than that, it's it's great. Yeah, I can't wait to open these up. Yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. Sandman in store. I've I've seen a ton of Mary Janes, but I finally saw a Sandman in store, so I got to see him physically, you know, in hand. And it, yeah, he looked pretty good, even though it's just the sand guy. Yeah. It's 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 just it's the version of Thomas Hayden Church they didn't have to bring into a studio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because COVID, or pay him for toy rights. <laughs> oh, Re- oh, that's. I just well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know that for a fact. You know, uh, no, I feel like it still had it. his likeness on it a pretty good bit. But. Yeah, it still looked like him. I think the weird, like, there's even that final shot. I think it, it was all COVID. I think it was mainly COVID related. So they were cutting. I think they were just trying to cut where they could. 
to save and yeah. make it as safe as possible because there were shots I've noticed. Uh, I think I even got it the first time I even watched the movie. There were certain shots that if you know Spider-Man 3 pretty well, you could see that they reused shots of Thomas Hayden Church from certain scenes. And just like, you know, for like, there's a big moment where when his, uh, when he's looking at his fingers, like when he's, when he's coming back human at the end, it looks like it's supposed to be like one of, I think it's a shot of him. I think when he's falling in, like when he's becoming mud, like, and I think mm -hmm. they just reused that shot and then re, you know, redid CGI around it. Hmm. It's, yeah. it's, it's weird. You can, you can check, like, you can just go back through the movie, look at those, like, look at all the stuff with him. Sometimes you would see something that looks like they were reusing a shot of him. I think they did oh, yeah. the same thing with uh, Re Z friends also as the lizard. Yeah, oh, they did. They did, and yeah, there there is a scene I remember it now that was from Spider Man Three that yeah. they reused for him, the yeah. same man. Yeah, because I'm not sure if Reese Friends was really even on set either, other than probably just doing voice work. Mm -hmm. I think the only ones that were actually on set were Willem Dafoe, uh, Alfred Molina, and uh, Jamie Fox. Yep. So, so uh, one last thing before we head out. Um, I just want to say rest in peace, the Hasbro selfie series. Oh yeah. Yes. To, uh, I, was, you know, I, I want to be a fly on the wall. Out, huh? Like why did they stop that? Well, here's an even weirder question. Why did they stop it when they did? Because they had just announced the 2.0 line. Mm -hmm. and, had, and I remember seeing it and I think either the day of or the day after I went on like my Hasbro app on the phone to check it out to see what new stuff was added. Mm -hmm. And something I'd mentioned, a feature I had mentioned that would have made the one I had made for me look a lot better was printed uh facial hair. They yeah. they added that. You could actually have a uh, an actual fully made like sculpted beard on on the head. I was like, oh they're getting it right. And then <laughs> nope. I don't even think even if you'd made an order, I think right when it first started, I think that still got canceled. Yeah. I don't I, so I don't think it, it just it's really baffling. It's like why after the announcement? Like why don't you just go ahead and quietly shelve it before that? I guess some bean counters needed to make some cuts and they're it like, just it just feels weird to just do it at that point. It's like we we just started this gene. What are you talking about? It's Get gotta it. go, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. All right, any last thoughts before we shut her down for the week? Um No. <laughs> Thanks, avoid. Austin. Thanks, Austin. Ray. Uh, you know, if you haven't <laughs> seen it, go watch my favorite movie this year: Dungeons and Dragons: Honor Among Thieves. I yeah, really, just go watch that. Yeah, because Chris I... Pine thinks it's going to get a sequel. Does he? Yes. Oh, he said that in an interview the other day. Yeah, but he's he's saying that will probably before Star Trek does. So. Yeah. Nice. Or his Star Trek, so. Well, yeah, yeah, it seemed like everybody who was in that really enjoyed working on it. Yeah. So I, I, you know, if it somehow, if they, if they pull that off and get a second one, I'm more than happy to go watch that in theaters again. Yep, me too. I, I'd go see it again. I'd go Paramount see it. Plus premiere. Whoop! I'll be fine with that. Whoop! <laughs> All right, and. uh yeah, go watch Wolverine and the X Men just because I'm watching it and uh, I hadn't seen it before and it's pretty good, pretty decent. All right, people, folks, just, is it is it decent, folks, people? Have have a good one. Uh, see you soon. You're losing Merry them. Christmas. Later days. Later.